All right, everybody. Today is a special day. I've been waiting for this for five months. <laughs> I'm gonna unbox today my brand new custom bite suit. This pattern that I picked is the only one of its kind. I custom made it to my own patterns and all that, so I'm the only one in the world that's gonna have this exact suit. Now, before I unbox this, I've said, you know, I have my protection videos, I have my instructional videos, and I use the Ray Allen suits, and I tell people that that's what I use because of the fact that I switch out decoys of all sizes all the time. You know, people come to me all over, all over the world to learn protection from me, so I have to have that flexibility to be able to just stick all sorts of body types in a suit right now, okay, at any moment. So, but everybody's been telling me, you gotta get your own custom suit done, have your own style, and you're gonna love it. So this suit is from Senav, right now the number one suit maker in the world, the best suit in the world. So, five months I've been waiting. Again, customized to my size, my dimensions, and my color patterns. Only one in the world ever done with this design. So, I'm excited to unbox this thing. I haven't touched it yet, it just came in today. And I'm gonna do it right now in front of you. So, let's get at it. Yeah, thing is heavy. I had to get a cart to bring this thing out of my post office. By the way, very expensive. <laughs> they said I have the most expensive suit ever made. <laughs> All right. Woo! That is beautiful. Uh, you see there? I'm going to pull it out. Just to get a little look. All right. Uh. Mm. All right. That the side a sec. All right. So the pants are stuffed inside. All right. There's clasps here. Just to keep in mind, I've never used one of these. I've never had a custom suit like this. So gonna figure out things here. All right, so we'll just pull out from the bottom. Legs are stuck inside. <laughs> there we go. So. There's the legs. Straps. Got a strap back here that my other suits don't have. Tighten this up. Get you nice and tight in here to get a nice tapered so you can move well, take the bites well. All right, so I'm gonna put that aside for a second. There. <laughs> Beautiful. Red, white, and blue. Awesome. All right, so the sleeves I ordered like this. 
this pattern. I wanted the American flag. Added these, I, these colors to it exactly. Okay, and then they put the red on top of there, the clips, your button ups. Now, here on the left arm, there's an extra cuff here. So on top, so the right side doesn't have it. This is normal, regular, okay? The left side has an extra, you can see here the seams that they stitched, an extra bulky in here, there's a, like a bite bar, but it's protecting the left bicep, okay? So the reason for that is twofold. One, to protect the suit from damage and wear. The other thing is, it gives you extra protection on big biters. Now, most of these, the people that buy these types of suits are sport competitors. So they don't usually put the cuffs here and all that because they're dealing with Malawas, Dutch Shepherds generally, those types of breeds that don't have the massive biting power, right? So when I was designing this suit, I, I specified that I'm gonna do those breeds too, but I do deal with Rottweilers. <laughs> and those bites are heavy duty, right? So Connie Corsos I do a lot, Roddies, American Bulldogs, but so specifically for the Mastiff types, especially Rottweilers, they have that massive power and nasty bite, right? So this suit alone would be great for the Malinois and Dutch Shepherds. Those bigger Mastiff types, it would hurt. So I wanted as much extra on my left side as possible to take that bite better, okay? Now, the reason originally that I got it on the left side was because I was planning, still am, on competing in PSA. In Protection Sport Association in PSA, the bites are always to the left, on the left bicep. So that's why I put the extra cup, cuff here, okay? Now, for reality though, right? Opposite of sports stuff. The right side for me, because I do real protection mostly, most people are right-handed, right? So the weapon is gonna be in the right hand. So for reality purposes, we were doing this, and attacking, we want those dogs to mostly target that right bicep in reality, okay? So I didn't get the extra padding here, the, the cuff, and only because of stiffness purposes. So I'm gonna do that in a second now and see what it feels like. But, you know, the, the maker of the suit was telling me that the, and originally the cuff here is going to add a little bit of tension, less flexibility in that arm until it's broken in. When it's broken in, I'll be just fine. So I didn't want to have my right arm that in re real protection that I do most, and that's what I do. I use this arm mostly for the bites to stop a weapon attack. So. I wanted the flexibility in this arm to be able to hold a weapon and do all that. Now I know in the beginning when you get these suits, it's very tough, right? So I'm still gonna have a little problem probably with the flexibility, but after some bites with these types of suits, it'll loosen up and I'm sure it'll be fine quick. But the cuff, it might take, it's gonna take a little longer probably because of that. But the great thing about this cuff is that it's, you can take it off. 
so I can just pull the seams out and just take the cuff off without ruining the suit at all. So it's perfect, perfectly designed there. And if I ever want to put the cuff back on, or I can even switch it to the right arm if I want to, I can just stick it right back on either side I want and stitch it right back on. So I have that flexibility to be able to move it and do what I want with it. So for now, I'm going to keep it here on the left. And again, the purpose of the left side was because I'm going to be competing in PSA and everything is the left bicep, left bicep, left bicep. So that's why I did that. But the design of it, I can already feel the difference from my Ray Allen suits or that the, the tension of the material. So now to give you the difference with this suit because it's custom made and my dimensions are right on. Everything has to be perfect, shoulders, everything gives me that leeway to be very flexible run in my other suit because it comes in medium large extra large and beyond the pants are too long for me they drag on the floor it's hard to move it's hard to run it's hard to have flexibility you know it's a little too bulky now again great you know especially starter people and all that and again for you know swapping out decoys at any moment fantastic so the suit is still good to me i still like the ray allen suits but this will, this is my first custom where you have to do everything by measurement and it has to fit you perfectly now also the bites when things are tighter and it's on you like that it's supposed to absorb the bite power and not feel the pinching as much when the suit is tighter onto your body unlike the other suits that are coming just you know one version and you can feel a lot of leeway in those legs and inside that suit right hence you feel some pinching if you don't maneuver well in the suit so i i know there'll be pinching in this one too it's not that there won't be so but it's supposed to being tailored to you have much more flexibility and you can move really well almost like it's your normal like it's normal without a suit on so let's take a look here all right so let's look at these clasps so here I assume you push this in pop it out okay so I guess that's how you yep so you just push that red button pull it out Red buttons. There. On the bottom is another one. All right, so they get you really tightened up here with this, with all those clasps. So you're really tight, safe. There's no holes, there's no gaps. All right. We'll give it a little feel and look what this feels like. First time ever putting it on. Yeah, so I can feel, yeah, that's good. Very tight, very tight, like tight, tight to the body. I can feel little pressure, compression, like on my biceps from the shoulder down. I can feel it very tight on the shoulders. So definitely I can feel a big difference already in how snug the fit is. All right, I had to have help. <laughs> to put the buttons in and the main reason that I did that was because I don't know I just opened the box so I don't know the placements of the the clips yet so with the bulkiness right now it's not that bad actually compared that I can reach I can clip them if I have to so but I don't want to break them all right so if i start playing around right now with the the new stiffness and trying to find it i'm afraid i'm going to break one of the clips <laughs> so that's why i just had my wife button me up but otherwise i i know 
I'll be able to do that by myself. But let's talk about the flexibility of this thing. I mean, really, you, you, you have good flexibility. So if I take my arm up already here, I mean, I have some good flex. Right, you can see pretty quick. I can change, and this one has the cuff, so this one's supposed to be a lot harder. And I still have some decent mobility in there where it's not completely restricted. So, yeah, I can see how when they were saying a few bites on that, getting that cuff to loosen up, it'll be completely flexible. So, yeah, holding that arm up, sticks, weapons, you know, having that, putting it out, no problem, moving those arms. So, really good, good flexibility. So, very tight, like it, tapered, feels great. And I love the mobility, I really do. So, really, really nice. All right, now the pants. So, you can see, man, they are tight. The, the, it's very snug. See here, these straps are really, I have an extra belt here, right? Strapping this up like a belt. So, I mean, very fit, very tight. I've never felt a suit like this before. And then you have here, these are very tight. And your back, you have a strap back here that also tightens in to make sure your hips are good, keep everything nice and tight for safety, flexibility. But I could tell you already, you can see on the bottom where my shoes are that they fit right to my shoe. With the other suits, it comes over my sneaker like a bell and it's usually touching the floor. So you're dragging your feet and it makes it much harder to run and move. So with this right away, without it being broken in, of course it's, it's very hard because of that still, but I can feel the flexibility already, even in the stiffness. I mean, there's a good amount, right? I can, so going down, so I have a lot of great flexibility already. So yeah, this is gonna be very different to be moving with dogs. I love it already giving me a lot of comfort and I know even a little breaking in I'm gonna be able to move really quickly when you know catching dogs and working with them so yeah I love it feels great now also with these pants I added from the knee to my ankle extra padding here and the back so because for PSA or any bite work nor for reality we're not having dogs bite in here so you, you still have padding here it's just not a place you want to do bites and bites and bites it wears in it's not going to be a comfy place to take a lot of bites but I can tell it's not bad and it won't be bad but from here down they put extra these kind of plate paddings <laughs> so this way I have a lot of flexibility in the pants to move my legs well but from here we give the bites I'm gonna have plenty of padding from the knee to the ankle to be able to take those bites and take them nicely without suffering <laughs> the pain so yeah 
real nice, really very snug, very fit, very comfy. So loving it, love the feel. And already again, having such flexibility and they're not even broken in. So really like it. All right, now we got the full getup, Captain America style. <laughs> so the flexibility, right? Really good. I mean, it's fantastic. I mean, have great mobility. So yeah, I'm loving this suit already. And I haven't taken one bite, but I'll do updates on it as I take bites in it. It breaks in, but overall, much different than a suit that's not custom. Very tight, very tight fitting. Very comfortable though. And very flexible. And I can feel the difference. And again, it's not broken in. So I can already feel a big difference in this. So loving it. So now new suit, new look from here on, right in front of your eyes. From today on, there's a change. I'll no longer be called the Miami Dog Whisperer. From here on, I am now America's dog trainer. Why? For a long time, people kept telling me, you should change your name. You should put like America's Dog Trainer since you do everybody in the country and you do more all around the country than you actually do in your own state or city. <laughs> so you're really America's Dog Trainer, not Miami, since you do, you know, mostly international and national. So you might as well call yourself America's Dog Trainer. And because I do everything in dog training, there's nothing I don't do. <laughs> so I specialize in everything. So anybody who needs anything around the country, I handle anything that they need or want to do. So through friends, clients, trying to urge me into changing my name, <laughs> so I decided that I might as well, since I'm going to get a new suit, design it in the style for the new image. So from here on, I won't be called Miami Dog Whisperer anymore. I'm now going to be America's Dog Trainer. <laughs>